Well, how y'all doing on today? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to make Sunday dinner. Some giant meatballs and gravy, onion gravy. And some homemade mashed potatoes for the gravy. And I don't know if I'm going to make a salad or cut up some. Do uh, we have any cucumbers left? Yes. Maybe we'll have some cucumber salad. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. So, I'm going to show Thank all my ingredients. Jesus. Show all my ingredients. Yes. Hallelujah. I'll be using Laurie Seeds of Salt garlic powder. I use the powder, never use the salt. Powder, black pepper, and onion soup mix. You can get Lipton or you can get the store brand. As long as it's the onion soup mix, it adds the, uh, the perfect... Um, an ingredient and taste to your your beef. Glory to God. Matter of fact, any meat, any meat or soup. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna let that grease. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna put in the potatoes. Mm-hmm. We have uh, cut up some white potatoes. Yes, Lord. No, I cannot see you in the Cut camera. Cut up some white potatoes. We're going to add them to the water that's already boiling hot. Mm -hmm. When I get them to boil, I'm going to get them to simmer a little bit. Yes. We're going to watch them. Those white potatoes are for the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to come this way. And you're going to see that I'm going to start seasoning the meat. Mm -hmm. That's the ground beef. Ground chuck. Yes. I'm going to put lorry seasoning. I'm going to put uh, garlic powder. And then I'm going to add black pepper just a little because that black pepper goes a long yes, way. It does. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm going to incorporate this all into the meat. Get the seasonings in the meat. Get that seasoning in there, glory to God. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more garlic powder. You're going to get the feel of what how much season you need as you see it goes into the incorporating it into the meat. You don't want to over season, but you want it seasoned well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to knead that in there, and I've already washed my hands. Now, in a bowl, I have already cut up green peppers and onions, and so I'm going to uh, pour them in. That's a little bit too big. I'm going to add them in. I'm going to get uh, one egg. Put that there. Maybe I'll do two because I got a lot of meat. meat you have for that egg because you you want uh, it to get you know nice and, and tender soft moist that's what the egg is for mm -hmm. now I have and you can buy them 
you can already buy uh, bread crumbs. But I'm going to use some bread that I have. And what I do is I just sort of just take it and shave it and rub it in. See, I'm just rubbing that bread crumbs in there. It just adds a buoyancy and a nice tender. And you can take the big parts out, but I'm shaving bread crumbs. Uh, you can buy bread crumbs, or you can use the bread that you have so it won't go to waste. <laughs> Praise God. How y'all doing on the day? Glory to God. I know y'all, everybody is praising God, and I pray everyone is well. Sending out prayers for those who are sick and down, depressed. That God will touch you on the day. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We're getting ready for a beautiful service. Can you see how oh, those crumbs are yes, going in? Yes, yes. Hey, that's mm -hmm. your bread crumbs. And, yes, you, Lord. and you can make your own bread crumbs too. You can do all of this and season them and put them away. Mm -hmm. You always have uh, fresh bread for... Uh, you know, meatloaf and stuff yes. like this. These meatballs are really almost made like meatloaf. Now I'm going to mm. take this egg and I'm going to put an egg, but I'm going to use two. These are small and this is a lot of meat. Usually I would use one if you had like one or two pounds, but this is about three pounds of him, uh, round, round beef chuck. cleaning as I go, y'all. The kitchen's not torn up. Now, I'm going to take my onion soup mix and I'm going to just dump it up. Dump it in. Yes, boy. And I'm going to just dump half of this one in. I'm going to save some more for gravy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, do you see how I got all of that yes, in there? Yes. Now, I'm going to work it all in. I can make fabulous meatballs. Mm -hmm. This could be also a great big giant nice meatloaf, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Just take your clean hands and always wash your hands before you start cooking. I know I'm talking to these chefs out here, but yeah. to those who just learning, maybe young ladies and newlyweds and all that. <laughs> And you just work all those seasonings with everything in so that everything goes in together. Now I'm going to add, if I get my hands washed, I'm going to add another touch to that. I'm going to add some ketchup, and this adds your tomato flavoring, which really uh, complements the beef. So you want to get some of that tomato ketchup in there. You can use any kind of ketchup, as long as it's ketchup, good ketchup. <laughs> That's going to add your kicker, your flavor. You can smell it already. Mm-hmm. You know how it's going? All the breadcrumbs, the eggs, everything is in there. That's going to be an awesome meatball. Not a meatball. Meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making yes, meatballs Lord. today, not meatloaf. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. But that's that's how you make meatloaf also. Yeah. So it depends good. on how you're going to form it. Mm -hmm. You're going to form it into a meatloaf or form it into meatballs. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have meatballs on today. Meatballs and gravy. Pick this up. Yes, yes. I try to wash as much as I can along the way so I don't have a mountain of, of just, you know, makes it a joy to cook when it's clean along the way. You don't want to be bogged down. Okay, I'm going to take this over. Oil. Turn these potatoes down. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rita. Yes. I'm just going to 
this stemmer, and they're going to be coming up soft. Yeah. And I have to come over to this bowl, and I'm going to start forming my meatballs. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. And I'm going to make them real big. You can make them bigger if you want. Yeah. Sure. Test that one. That foil is hot. Making them into a nice round shapes. And you'll know just about how much, how big you want them. So you can make, some people like little teeny small ones. They're really cute. Yeah. You have giant ones. With the big ones, maybe just two or three is good for a dinner plate. Mm hmm. I love when my wife cooks. She's an excellent cooker. Uh, thank you. I thank God for it. I give God the praise. Yes, Lord. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, y'all. <laughs> she cooks so well around Thanksgiving, I probably gained about 20 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, we don't yes, want to do that. <laughs> yes, I thank God for it. Oh, we don't want to gain no 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. My God, don't mm -hmm. let it happen. Lord Jesus, don't let it happen. I can hold it. Yeah, uh, I want no 20 pounds. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let those cook, and then I'll put some more in. Mm -hmm. Just focus on the food. Yes, yes. I'm going to let those cook, y'all. How we do it. Mm -hmm. Just giving God the glory on the day. Oh, yeah. Get ready for the Sunday service of this dinner. The word he's going to give us on today. Mm -hmm. God is that. good. He is Let's lovely. About that. Yes, he is good. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Oh, yes. I think you'll be alive today, y'all. Mm -hmm. If you're alive, doesn't have things that come around. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My Lord. The land of the living. Mm -hmm. Somebody say I'm in the land of the living. Land of the living. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. That's a big thing, a big place to be. Yes, it is. Everything else is work out in the land. Mm -hmm. Hey. So we're letting those uh, get brown, get cooked. And I like well done. I don't like those. And cook meatballs. I like mine well. You cook yours like you like it. Mm-hmm. But well, safe way to eat that meat. Yeah, oh. Sweet. You can get that up off the top. Mm-hmm. Not like that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, just thank you. Woo, I tell you. Let's see what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Oh, good. Time to turn it over. See there? Look. Look at your color yes. coming in. Mm -hmm. You know, you can also bake these. They're good baked, too, just like you do meat ones. Mm -hmm. This is the quicker way. Turn that over. 
fall apart. That's the thing about turning them over too fast. You want to make sure that other side is yeah. done and then they'll turn over without falling apart, you know. Because mm -hmm. you got the egg that makes it softer. So you want to give yourself room to flip that bad boy over. Mm -hmm. I love to turn it around. Somebody said turn it around. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You see, they're getting it done. Don't cook. Make sure the grease is hot. Okay. Then this will be our first batch because we got another batch going in. So that will drain this batch. See? Mm -hmm. And then the grease is going to be well seasoned just to use a little bit, just a little for the gravy. Mm hmm. Look at that. Look at that. See? It, that meat shrinks fast, so you have enough to put two in there. Mm-hmm. And there's the lower. Come on down. Them babies just cook so nice. Let's see what these potatoes are doing. See what these potatoes are doing here. And then a good way to do it is try to send that pork through. That lets you know they're soft. When well, you can get that, see when I'm getting that spatula through? Mm. It's soft. I'm going to go just a little bit more. You want to speed up, turn it up. Somebody. Oh, yeah. It's a good dish, too. That's quick. You can, if you got a little Cajun going on or something, or you just want to feed your family. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just make some meatballs. It pleases everybody. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to flip one over to see the other side. I don't want them burnt because they're going to simmer in the gravy too, you know. So, yeah, that's the way of cooking them also. Yeah, let them cook some more. Get a good color, get them well, get them done. And just see the other side. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready for the holidays? Beautiful time of the year. Just getting ready for oh, Jesus' for everything, for life, for health, for the, the way to God. He's the reason. Mm -hmm. My goodness, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus
beautiful time of the year. We need help, we need strength. Oh yes, y'all. Now I'm gonna start collecting some of these meatballs now. Watch this. I'm gonna start taking them off. And I'm gonna drain them on a paper towel. We don't want greasy balls, we want meatballs. <laughs> Not grease balls, meatballs. Grease balls. <laughs> collect some of my onions that's, that's all grilled. That's gonna be part of my gravy. I can smell the ketchup in them, in the green peppers. That smells so mm -hmm. good. It's good. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. See, I'm training a little bit. Mm -hmm. These I'm going to see I can turn open now. And I can make room for some new ones, some other bats to put in. This one has holes, big old scratches. Much easier. For your bowl, folks. I've been cooking for you as long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's collect. See all the onions and green peppers is loose? That's going to be part of your gravy. So you want to get all of that out. That's why I'm going to be cooking. You want to get that out of there because you're going to need that. Then I'm going to collect all your vegetables that's left. See there? I'm, and that's draining now. All that paper towel is going to drain that grease out. Now I'm going to add some more. Grease is hot, and when I get them in there, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, slow. Just stick on this pan here. Thank you. Father, we just thank you that you're so good, and I love you so much. Touch us right now, binding it in the name of the name of Jesus, the people praying to come to you. Thank you, Lord. This love is peace and goodness, confidence, hallelujah. Lord, to the God. I'm going to turn this down to the stand. Okay, right there. Okay, y'all watch that simmer for me. I'm going to be cleaning this pan now. Just roll on it.
Let them cook brown so they can get down enough to go into the gravy and simmer after we drain the grease off. Watching that, y'all. Okay, now the ones that I put in, I'm going to turn these over here because they should be brown on that side. I'm going to get brown on that side. See? Can you look at mm -hmm. here? Okay. Just, just separate them. Okay. Mm -hmm. and these are great and just fine. Look. And you can collect all the vegetables as you drain them. That's why you need something like this to break the uh, mm -hmm. vegetables. It's a good Christmas dish too, y'all. Want to make something uh, not so expensive and cheap for Christmas? Instead of the usual uh, roast potato ham, why not make some meatballs and gravy? Well, that's a good dish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, I believe I'm going to uh, take my potatoes off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's in a colander so the water's going out and sink. Thank you, Lord. I'm thankful. It don't take all day to do something. You know, you could just it's a quick dish for Sunday. Something's on the stove. The house will smell good, you know. <clears throat> the family will be blessed. I'm going to put this back on the stove. I don't want to get wet on here. back. I'm get out my butter and some milk. Help me, Jesus. It don't hurt to pray. Say, Lord, cook my dinner for me. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah, it is. Father, help me mm -hmm. cook my dinner. Bless our food. Bless our bread and our water. Yes, Lord. Break every curse off of it. Break every attachment mm -hmm. off of it. Anything not like you, anything that'll make us sick, destroy it, God. Mm -hmm. Touch it and breathe yes, upon Lord. our food. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Breathe upon Thank our bread you. and water. Mm -hmm. 
Start mashing them up. I'm gonna bring it back to a boil though, cause it's so down. Yeah. Let me start mashing these up. The starch thickens, you know, so just keep crunching. Get that butter and everything all in those potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing like homemade potatoes. I like them in the box too. <laughs> I like those box uh, hungry jacks and Idaho's and all that, y'all. Don't be scared to use them. You know, fix them all up. You can be an instant cook. You can be a homemade cook. Just cook. <laughs> Once in a while, take a break and eat out. That's gonna be beautiful. Look at that. Trying to get all them lumps out. Turn it down now, cause the potatoes splash. It's got plenty of butter in there. We got we got skim milk, y'all. Trying to watch these calories, y'all. Let that simmer while I get these. Uh, gotta get these. Uh, I don't want no grease on these. Let that simmer while I get these two out of there. These eggs in there first. And I'm gonna remove these and put them on the top. Let that simmer Turn these over to the other side. I love the smell of that ketchup with the green peppers, y'all, and that beef. That's a good mm -hmm. smell. Yes, it is. Cover that. Yes, it is. You want to put a cover? I'll get that. Let's let them thicken, and then I'm going to turn that off. Mm -hmm. They're about ready. Mm -hmm. You want to turn it off? Not yet, not yet. I want to stick on a little. Right. Okay, y'all see the color of that? Mm -hmm. That's a good color. Turn these potatoes off because they can thicken. They look good. Now you can add chives in there. You can add what you want in your potatoes. People your garlic butter potatoes. You can do what you want with white potatoes. You can add cheese. Cheese potatoes are good too. Mm -hmm. Remove these meat and remove the meatballs. Load them all up into that paper towel. Try to get a place in there. Let me see. I'm going to collect these vegetables out of his grease. Drain them. Because you're going to use that in your gravy. This meal is coming to a quick end. It's going to be delicious. There. As much as you can, you want to get your vegetables out. Feel like you need a spatula or spoon like this. Drain. Okay, now 
And this grease is, this pot is turned off. That's how hot it is. Okay, hold that, Pastor. Because I'm going to, and I'm going to make my gravy up. I got three hefty tablespoons of flour in this cup. I'm stirring it up because I don't want it to lump. I'm just loosening it up. I got the water on hot. I'm going to slowly put this in the flour as I stir it quickly so that what it doesn't lump. See, look at this. What? Quick, 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 quick. I'm whisking it quick. I'm making sure the lumps are not in that flour. Do y'all see that? That's like that's your sauces. So you watch this. I don't want no lumps in my gravy and white uh, clogs of flour floating to the top. That's horrible. And then I'm gonna add my water. See, I, I got flour. I got no lumps. Glory to God. That should be a great thicker. That was three hefty tablespoons of flour. But with um, <clears throat> cornstarch, I don't think you even have to use that much. Maybe one tablespoon. Cornstarch is a thickener, y'all. But it's low calorie, almost no calories. There's calories in flour. Especially white flour like we're using. Now this grease is hot. With the little grease that I left in the pan, because it's flavored by the meatballs, y'all, and all the seasonings. I'm going to pour in this flour. And I'm going to stir it with my spoon quickly, not to form any lumps. Watch this. I'm going to gather all stuff from the sides. All that, believe it or not, is going to season your, your, your gravy. That's how you make professional gravy. Look at that. Look at that. That's going to begin to start thickening. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. But not too much. See how it's thickening and beautiful? Look at that. It's perfect gravy. Now look at this. I'm going to add a little bit of water because I want it thick. I don't want it to thin out. So now put all that in together. And then it up, put it all in together, and start thickening itself. Now, I gotta season my gravy, and I love lorries, so I'm gonna put in a lorry. Not too much. I'm gonna put in the garlic powder. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flow. I had just enough left in there for that. But I 
got a new one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This will be good for Christmas. You know, you make more than one dish with guests coming over. Ham, roast, meatballs. Look, yeah, little. That powder is good because it's not salty. And you can put more than you can with garlic salt. Garlic salt is salty. Look at the flavors coming in the gravy. Look, watch that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that grease brown in that gravy? The little bit I left in the pan. Look at this. Look at that. Look at your sauce. Look. Look at your sauce. Look at your sauce. Look at that. Now, you know, I got to. I got to add black pepper for gravy, but not too much. That pepper go a long way. It's better not to have too much. You'd rather have your guest seasoning. I'll turn that down. You'd rather have your guests season them to their life than to, uh, you have so much that they, you know, lip smacking together with too much salt seasoning. That's not a good cook. You can't cook to your life all the time when you cook them with other people. You gotta cook according to, you know, that they can add more if they want it. Now, I'm looking for my other lip and soup mix, man. Up there, in this cabin here. This one? Yep. Okay, thank you. I'm going to add one pack, look at here, of Lipton soup mix. Now, this is not Lipton, this is Myers. We love Myers here, and this is Michigan. Onion soup mix. Onion soup mix is not just for onion soup, it's for seasoning your meat, chicken, or whatever. Add your onion soup mix. Incorporate it, stir it in, stir it in, get it in there. Don't be afraid to get it in there. See how beautiful this sauce is? Look at that. That's your gravy. Somebody say, make that gravy, girl. Girl, go and make me some gravy. <laughs> hey, you practice a while, you get that gravy down pat. I tell you, my first gravy, I had flour lumps everywhere, I, but I didn't give up. I said, no, 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 I'm making gravy. And I, <laughs> I had to feed my house, and I had to learn how to cook. Glory to God. Look at that. Look at the onions in the soup mix. Look at that. You wouldn't believe the taste of that. Now, we're going to go back and get our meatballs. I'm going to start dumping our meatballs so they can simmer in that gravy. Y'all say, go on now. This is meatballs and gravy, y'all. How'd that look, y'all? Put our meatballs in there. Mm -hmm. On top of them mashed potatoes, you ain't going to know how to act. He may run down the street. Somebody say I'm going to run. I'm going to collect all my vegetables and put them all in that grease. Glory to God. See, all the grease is drained off the meat that went into the napkin. Yeah, look at there. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at that, y'all. Them meatballs in there and let them simmer in that nice big gravy, y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah, Onion gravy, child. And don't y'all say nothing. Don't nobody say nothing. Everybody, don't move. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that. See there? That beautiful one. Is that beautiful? Now, that's a good dish for Christmas coming up along with whatever you're cooking. Mm -hmm. If you're making a ham, yeah, or whatever cool. you're making, you can make some meatballs too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Meatballs go a long way. And a lot of people like Swedish meatballs. Mm -hmm. I like to make Swedish meatballs too. You ever go to these uh, 
weddings and banquets and showers and things. And they uh, they always have sweetest meatballs because they're a great filling. And they'll go a long way in feeding a lot of people. Yes, no. So that's, that's how they do it. Mm-hmm. You got that smell in that grease. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Smelling and looking good. Well, praise God. My boy. Somebody praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord is praise mm -hmm. Y'all watch that simmer for me. Because I'm straightening this kitchen up. Y'all watch that simmer. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's check out something. Onion soup mixes in there. Yeah, no. Do y'all see that beautiful gravy? Mm -hmm. uh, look at that. That is so beautiful. Is that wonderful? That's beautiful. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. This is just bless the Lord. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm.
Okay, y'all. Now, I've got some fresh Roma tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And some cucumber cukes. What do they call it? Cukes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Some cukes. Make sure they're washed out clean. Some people feel the cukes. It's up to you. It's pretty to keep the skin on if you wash them clean. It, it adds so much pretty color. I'm just going to just slice them up into this bowl. It's going to be a good side dish with the meatballs and mashed potatoes. And it'll be healthy too. Uh, me and uh, Pastor Aaron like to eat these by themselves. Just for, we just snack on tomatoes and cucumbers. Italian dressing. The creamy cream cream dressings are where the calories are. The uh, vinaigrettes and Italian is less calories. And olive oil is good and vinegar. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be uniform. Just the color alone is beautiful. Look at the deep color. Look at God. It's beautiful. Mm hmm. I'm using two, so that should be enough for three people here. Mm -hmm. See that? We used to make this for our old church, and it always like, where did you get that salad? Nothing like tomatoes and cucumbers together. You know, you can do a lettuce and a tall salad and put some red onions, you know, if you want. Cheese. Cheese going to add more calories, but, you know, I'm going to use a feta cheese. I hope I got some more feta cheese. I'm going to slice this tomato down the middle. It's a Roma tomato, so those are the kind. That's not a vine tomato. That's a... Look, I'm going to do them like this. Easier to, to eat. And go a longer way. Mix them all in. I try to take the top part off if I can. It's up to you. Like a, you, can, you can do them like I did a cucumbers if you want to go just slice them in circles, but I do like a half circle. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. As long as you do it, cook good, it don't matter. Everybody got their own flair. You know, just present good food. Make it look good. Let it be inviting. Let it be clean. Let it be wholesome. Ask God to bless it. He said he would bless our bread and our water. If we serve him, if we do good. If we forgive our enemies. Look at this. I'm going to get it all in together there. So that's going to be the sides for the meatballs and mashed potatoes. This is what we use all the time. I love this feta cheese. You can use the kind. You got all kinds. You can get some you can uh, in a block and cut up yourself. It's already cut. This has tomato basil in it. See that? That's your feta. That's feta. And I just put some crumbles off of there. This is a simple salad. But it's really good. Put just some Italian dressing on it. I don't know if I'm going to add any onions, but you can add onions. You know, just put it in there.
over here in the cabin. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a new one now. Yeah. Which cabin? That one. Okay. That's I'm going to douse it right now so that'll soak in. The flavors will soak in. This is a Ken's, which is good. All of them are really good. Ken's Steakhouse is good. You can get Italian dressing for 99 cents. This is good. I'm shaking up because you want all that stuff in together. That stuff settles. You know, you want all that seasoning together. So I'm going to let this salad soak with some Italian in the refrigerator. Cover it up with plastic. That's going to saturate and you won't even have to add anymore. It'll just be in there. Get it all in there, make sure all the vegetables get soaked, saturated. And that's going to be the side dish for the meatballs, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Now, I'm going to make Michael the first plate so they can see it all come together, and then this video is finished. So, go back to the meatballs. Look how fluffy. Ain't that beautiful? Like air. Yes, mm -hmm. And those are real with real butter. Mm -hmm. Those are real mashed potatoes, y'all. The butter. Milk. We use skim milk because if you can use the kind of milk you want now, but the um, skim milk, you want to have all them calories. Mm -hmm. Now, skinny mittens, they probably saying, well, sock to me, give me some real milk. <laughs> and I'm going to add, usually a dinner with giant meatballs, three is sufficient. That's like a great big hunk of meatball, meatloaf. I'm going to make a well in my mashed potatoes and I'm going to pour some gravy in and I'll put some more in some more. make sure you get some gravy in there y'all see that? cover that up I'm going to let that simmer a little bit more I'm trying to get that This spoon here. And we're gonna put some of the tomato salad on the side. Well, that's a health, healthy dish. It's elegant and quick, and it's good. And it's good to eat. And also, you can make that for Christmas, y'all. Yes, yes. You can make it you know, if you don't if, say I can't afford a turkey. I always oh, honey, you can make this and it just be just as beautiful for mm -hmm. Christmas. Get you some dinner that rolls. That is so beautiful. You get you some dinner rolls. And go over the video again so you know how. And I always try to present your meat, your plates elegantly. I try to get stuff off the side. Mm -hmm. Just make it beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. See there? Oh, thank you, Jesus. So that's your meatballs and gravy and homemade mashed potatoes and just a, a tomato cucumber and feta cheese salad with Italian dressing.
Amen, y'all. Amen. Well, we love y'all, and we're praying, and we are sending good, uh, good news to you, your yes, life. Lord, Let the Lord bless and touch you today, mm-hmm. and give you what he what you need. Yes, we Lord. trust in Him, and we oh, need His help. Yes, Lord Jesus. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. See you next video. And God bless you all. And we will see you shortly in church. Amen. Amen. See you next video.